All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another undisputed video. And I felt like giving Bud Crawford a play today. Have a go with a welterweight Bud Crawford. I thought my fucking game had crashed there. I thought a great start to the fucking video. Where are we? Welterweight on 91. Bud Crawford. And it only makes sense to go against someone who's either the same or higher ranked than us. Doesn't get any higher in this division, at least, for 91. So it's going to have to be Sugar Ray Robinson. And let's try... I haven't been the Kiritsu Arena for a while. I think we can go here. Undisputed difficulty. Just bump the modifier up by one. Let's get it on! If your opponent is cut, press the advantage for a referee stoppage. I very rarely get... I've not had one Welcome cut stoppage on this WBC game yet Arena. since I've been playing it. Not one. Time to see these two get it on. Alongside I think the cuts happen very, Looking very rarely to for me. It's time... And here he is in the flesh, Terrence Bud Crawford, one of the pound-for-pound pound best in the world, fighting out of Nebraska, USA, one of the greatest of all time. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Hiding out of the blue corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Robinson. Interesting how Ray Robinson had his, um, like as part of his introduction there, he had his... Uh, his wins kind of read out, but I don't think anyone else really has that. But still, it's not quite the same. They should like say, you know, so many wins, so many, uh, so many wins, so many losses, and so many draws for every boxer. But for some reason, they just chose not to do that in this game, which is fucking bizarre. Oh, fucking Ray Robinson just spamming the right straight. Nice counter shot. Oh, both exchanging right straights there. See, I used, uh, was it Lyndon Arthur in the last Undisputed video? And fucking Crawford feels way more like my kind of character to use. Fast, zippy combinations. I know we're talking different weight classes here, but... Already just, like, playing around with them just for a little bit is so much better than whatever sort of... the way the ad Arthur set up as. Shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful. Oh, though. beautiful little step off to the right there. A digging right up a cut to the body. Some nice exchanges from both men in this. Oh, race. nice pull counter there. Pretty fucking hands. input red. Me fucking bo both of me counters. And he fucking dodged both of them. Oh, stiff jab as I came in. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Oh, power jab. Snap me head back. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Oh, hard right straight to the body there when he had no Very stamina. Round with 10 seconds to go. 
Oh, look at that head movement. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace. Here we go for round two. Turning off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Lands with oh, the right nice liver shot there. One punch could change everything oh. in this battle. Just leaned into that fucking hook. They both want the knockout. Neither fighter willing Never to use loose down. movements, as you know, but I'll turn it on for a little bit. Just get a bit of a different look. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Go fight with a counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every drill. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Good counter right hand again. I just used the slip mechanic to just dip to me right. And he just straight up tracked me. Oh. Double stiff jab and it, he stun locked me into like a double fucking snapback animation there. Oh, and it's power straight down the middle. After they got into trouble, and it appears the onslaught is over at least for now. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it's like two There's different There's fucking leagues. ten rounds to go, Todd. Fucking settle down, mate. There's ten more fucking rounds. Fucking settle down. Round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's gonna try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight, not yet, not until your senses have come back. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. He threw the hook, didn't land. Oh, nice three-punch combination there. Started with that lead left uppercut. They both want the knockout. Oh, measured him with that uppercut and then the two punches after it. Nice combination there. Oh, and a step-in jab and a power straight. Right back into the fray. Oh, right off over the top and then that left up a foot. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. The perfect counter lands. Oh, get caught in the pocket there. He misses with that jam. And a counter left. Oh, nice counter there from Ray Robinson. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. 
fucking arena sounds like a fucking funeral parlor. What's what? Oh, is it? I want to give Spiders trying to give the game the benefit of the doubt, saying it's a Japanese and arena, so it'll be a Japanese crowd. So they're, they're normally quite silent and respectful while there's combat sports going on. But then when something happens, they fucking erupt. Like I don't think it's uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the case though. I think that's what the devs were going for. I think the crowd audio is just shit. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Beautiful counter shot. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. They exchange punches. And he misses with that jab. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Beautiful counter. Oh, nice counter jab from Reed Robinson. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these athletes. He might power right straight, just kind of stopped right in front of his face there and didn't land. I feel like that's like, I don't know, 30% of the punches that you throw that ends up happening. To just stop in front of the opponent's face and nothing happens. Doesn't even register. Here's the bell to start round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Like, like what happened there? They threw it and it just fell, fell off like didn't like connect with his face it just stopped just before it that one lands this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in this is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going oh, to oh nice there. four punch combination Robinson got buzz there he's in trouble Oh, power left up, right straight. Just breaks through the guard. Oh. Have another look at that one. Oh, that was a hard shot. Gave him coke jaw. Look at that jaw going back and forth again. And <laughs> one, two. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a oh, he's still hurt. He hasn't recovered his block. Oh. Watch me stamina there. He's been setting up this moment the entire fight. He's got to cash in now. He scored that left hand. And he just missed with that left jab. That left counter punch the score. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been Robinson. Oh, here's him again. Going to run out of time. Oh, and a vicious right uppercut up the middle. Power uppercut. Oh, and a left hook follows it. I mean, what a chin it, I mean, he took that uppercut fucking flush and he just stood there, look at that. Fuck off. Let's see 
how the corner handles their fighter here after being dropped twice in that last round. And there's the bell to start round six. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs will feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter... Oh, catch him with a couple of good shots there. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Perfect counter shot. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Oh, hate him again. Punch, counter punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Oh, lovely. Use that pivot there. Just create the angle. Got a three punch combination off after it. Look at him trying to fight his way out of this. He might just want to hold on. Play some defense. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble. And can he finish the job? I don't believe what we're seeing here. You know, the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Here comes round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter shot with the right hand. There's no doubt Ooh, that this fight is going to change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger. Oh, and nice faster. lead uppercut there. You've got to use brain there. Oh, and a nice right uppercut left up. But can he seal the deal? Oh, lovely. Go downstairs. He's taking all them on the block. Right straight to the body. Oh, and a nice little liver shot. Oh, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight's capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. Oh, lovely combination there. Stepped in with the one-two, pivoted off, and then landed, landed the liver shot right straight and then left the over the top. Lovely. Got out of the way, that right hook. He misses with that jab. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. It's actually a right Todd, but <laughs> no one's keeping track. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath. Round eight, and we're off again. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out 
fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff there. Oh, lovely. Oh, beautiful combination. That one, two. Oh, when he circled into that left hook. Bang. Caught him with another one for good measure. Oh, get it on that side. some point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. down all right. Combination there from Ray Robinson. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're in there with a banger. You've got to be oh, on it. Pull counter right confident. straight lands. The best start for, Hit you know, again. The oh, caught him with the left uppercut. Sugar Ray Robinson just got rocked. Robinson hit hard and he may be ready to go. Oh. Sugar Ray is down. Nice step in one, two. Was trying to set him up for that lead left uppercut there. The one two drops him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's it. I thought he had another get up in him there, but that's all he's got. It's over. Like playing as Crawford, his combos come out nice and quick. String some nice combinations together with him. Enjoy using Crawford. Don't think I've actually used Robertson yet. Maybe back when the, the early access first dropped, I'll have to do some uh, Sugary Robertson gameplay. All right, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.